Como é que é pessoal? Bem-vindos à nova entrevista da Underground Voice ao vivo. Uma honra para mim ter aqui uma das minhas bandas preferidas, os Suicidal Angels, que vieram tocar a, a Lisboa hoje. Vou, vou então começar a falar com, com o vocalista. Um, welcome to, to Portugal, welcome back. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to, to receive you here. Uh, Good evening. I'm a huge fan of Suicidal Angels. Nice to meet you again. Um, what can you expect about tonight? Total chaos. <laughs> Do you have any opinion about the Portuguese crowd? Actually, we have been here uh, like uh, four years ago, yeah. uh, during summertime, but not in Lisbon. We've been on a, uh, in a show in Porto with Exodus. I was and there. You were there. I was there. So, uh, and we also played another festival. I don't remember the location because it's quite long ago. Yeah. But uh, I have really good memories about the Portuguese crowd and uh, how warm and uh, how welcome they are and they are. And they are really passionate and energetic in the mosh pit and everything. And they are actually they become part of the concert, and this is really important and this is really nice for every single band that's being on the stage. So I personally, I believe that it's going to be a hell of a show tonight. Yeah, uh, suicidal angels are completing 15 years of career, more or less. Yeah, <laughs> more. Or less. Um, can you do a little balance of all these years? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I, we can do a short briefing the whole thing. I mean, like. Uh, Actually, I started the band when I was a kid, and 15 years old, when I was in school, you know, I just like playing covers and uh, making some demo songs, but nothing really serious, you know? Yeah. And uh, after, after finishing school, we just, like, I just decided that this whole thing would be part of my life, or actually my whole life. And uh, I, met, uh, I met Orpheus, like, three months after finishing school or something like that and since then we are together the last 13 years so more or less you can understand it's yeah. it's our baby anyways so uh, back then the whole thing was a bit weird with the thrash metal because there was no thrash metal around 2003 everything was dead yeah even sometimes when people asked like uh, what kind of music do you play thrash metal how why I mean like how do you listen to this kind of music? It belongs yeah. to the museums, it's like the dinosaur age or yeah. stuff like that. But it was our passion, it was our thing, it was our, the music that we love to play. I mean, I wouldn't like to do something commercial in order to make money or something like that. It's, I prefer to play what I want to, being less popular if you want or more popular, it doesn't matter, but at, like le and at least you have the passion for it, you don't do it for the money, you don't do it for this yeah. stuff. So uh, slowly we just like moved on, we did demos after demos and EPs after EPs. We reached 2007, we signed the first uh, contract with, uh, with a California-based uh, label called Old School Metal Records back yeah. in 2007. We released our first album called Little Domination and then we won this Rock the Nation award in uh, 2009 and then the whole thing just like moved on to somehow another level if you want, like maybe to a level that we didn't know in the past but we got familiar with, you know, that more major tourings and bigger names. So, um, as I said, in the beginning it was like kind of tough because we had no agency, we had nothing, we did all these expenses and tours on our own, it was like a weird situation and, but Anyways, we ended up in 2016 and six records later and the whole thing is running and smoothly goes on and on. And that's what's the most important for us. And also, I would dare to say that it's like, it's really, really, really impressive to see the support and the love in the people's eyes, either when they come in the concert or when they leave from the concert. And this is the most, this is also important for us, you see, like, watching people leaving from the concert happy and going home having a nice afternoon. Yeah. Suicidal Angels have a, a new album, Division of Blood. It's another uh, trash and aggressive and fast album, but uh, I think you, you I, we can see the band stronger than ever. Do you agree with that? I can't say this or that. I mean, like, I can't say that the first album is worse than the second or the second or the third. But uh, what I can say is that, like, the band actually grows up through the years. It evolves, you know. It, Step by step, step by step, you find your own character if you want to say so. You, you find your own, um, your own uh, point of view around the music. I and mean, like, okay, in the beginning, your influences are way, way more obvious, way more obvious. But as you keep playing and you keep growing and you keep playing lives and 
doing concerts and making albums slowly you can find your style. I don't mean you create your own totally personal style, but at least you can actually filter your influence through your own perspective about music so you can create something which is going to be a bit of identity. Because more or less thrash metal has been played in all of its forms through all the years. At least you can have a small identity, bigger identity, whatever, through the, through the whole scene. According to Division of Blood, uh, I would say to my taste, it is. I can agree on that, that it's a bit, a bit stronger than the rest. But the reason is because we tried uh, different, we tried different elements on the procedure of the whole recording. What I want to say is like this time we didn't use a lot of the machines from the studio. We just like we decided, okay, let's. Let's try it in another way, and along with the producer, with the, when he heard the songs, when he listened to the songs, he said, "Like guys, let's do it like we did it on the '90s." Yeah. What do you mean, York? Like, okay, let's do it how we did it in the '90s. What do you mean, York? Get in there and play the goddamn motherfucking song. Like start to end. Yes, start to end. Yeah. Okay, and we did that. We tried it on a couple of songs, and this whole thing was like was coming out like really, really really tight and really well, we didn't believe it to be honest. So uh, we kept it like that and also during the mixing and the mastering procedure we tried to keep it in the most analog level so we can get the whole feeling of the life. We wanted to have a result that you have the band in front of you playing the whole fucking shit right into your room, right into your eyes in front of your speakers. And I think we believe we, we made it. I think we made it somehow. A really great album. Thank you. It's your first album with Gus on the guitars. Uh, did he brought something new to the band, a personal touch or something? Uh, actually, Gus stepped into the band when the when the song creation was done. But what he contributed, and I was really, really amazed about that. I mean, like the guy came over to Germany where we were recording without even have listened to the songs, nothing. So I just picked him up from the change, the train station, we go to the studio. I had the project open there. And he said like, okay, let's try. I told him like, don't you want to get some rest or something? No, 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 let's, let's start trying stuff. And we spent a couple of days trying different leads and different, and he managed to create and to put some extra, some, something extra to the whole thing. I mean, his leads are technique and melodic, but in the same thing, they are totally perfect match for the whole album, on every song, I mean like separately on every song, it's like a perfect match, on every spot, maybe you have a melodic rhythm part. Yeah. He plays what he needs to play and I was really surprised and I'm like, we are all really satisfied, apart from his playing, he's like a character that you can count on, like when being on tour and when being on the road. Yeah, and yeah. Actually, to be honest, this is way more important for me than being a, a super shredder or whatever you want to call that. But as I said before, his contribution on the album was like super great, especially on the lead part. Yeah. Um, Suicidal Angel are releasing albums two in two years. Uh, uh, it's a risk <coughs> to, to keep. You want to still do that? It depends. It depends. We never make music just to make music. If we don't like it, we just throw it away. Yeah. I mean, like, we will not make an album in two years if we don't like it. If we make songs and in the end doesn't fit for us or doesn't sound good to our ears, we're not gonna get take them, we're just gonna throw them away. We don't want to disappoint the people that placed trust and support all these years but making a, a shitty record. This will be a disappointment to them, this will be a disappoint, disappointment to us also. It's like, no, no. If it doesn't make us headbang in the studio, we're not gonna make it out. We're not release it, nothing. We prefer to stay and work. We prefer to stay and work and just till we have the proper song, the proper result, till we release an album. Yeah. If we have something good in two years or three years, we're gonna put it out. If not, we're just gonna wait. And what can you tell us about the, the Greek current uh, Greek scene? Ah, the Greek scene. That's a question that. A lot of people, not only from Europe, but everywhere, more or less, they have like a question, what about the Greek scene? The Greek scene is, especially in the underground, it's huge. I mean, like you can find really, really nice pieces of music in every, in every 
uh, aspect of metal, either heavy, power, uh, thrash, death, black metal, symphonic, female, front, whatever you want to yeah. hear. Uh, you just need to search a bit through all the links that you find on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, the last, for example, five to ten years, no, five to eight years, most of the great bands, they try to move a bit forward, you know, just play some shows abroad, some small festivals, yeah. do like small tours, like a week or ten days, like let's let's tour the Balkans, let's make some shows in Germany, let's make some shows there, but you know, yeah. not a complete tour, but slowly here and there playing. And this is really good because there, are, there is really nice music coming from Greece, which is worth listening to. Well, do you know something about the Portuguese scene? Uh, are you a fan of any band from here? Uh, what the, the, best, the band that I know from Portugal is called Moonspell. Yeah. They are the most well-known band from Portugal and it's a band that uh, we have met quite a few times in festivals and they have also a really good connection with Greece and they have a really good connection with Rotten Christ also, which are friends. Apart from that, to be honest, I am a guy who is not that much into this computer technology. I think technology technology passed me after a while. I mean, I'm not on Facebook. Uh, I just use only emails and stuff like that. So if you yeah. don't send me a link or you don't give me a CD personally, I can't know a lot about that stuff. I mean, we've been in many countries in Europe and that's how it works with me. If you don't give me your CD or your link or something, I, I can't know. Yeah. So uh, I would be really happy if tonight in this concert I would have like maybe a couple of people giving me their CDs just listen to that. It doesn't have to be only thrash, I mean it's metal. Yeah. You're a metal and listen to metal. That's how it works with me. So like for now it's just Moonspell. I hope next time we meet there are going to be a couple of more bands. Well, thank you for your time. It was a huge honor to, to receive you at Underground's Voice. Uh, last thank words for, for our viewers and Suicidal Angels fans, the Portuguese one. Thank you Underground's Voice for a nice interview. It was a pleasure being in Portugal and hope to see you motherfuckers soon tonight. Keep it fresh. Nós voltamos em breve a entrevista com o Nick do Suicidal Angels. Fiquem atentos. Até breve.